WFTP Clarksville. Hey everybody, welcome to today's session at St. Bethlehem's United Methodist Church with Pastor Richard Wesley and co-host Ashley Kevin. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome to WSTB Clarksville. I'm Richard Wesley, and I'm here in the studio with our co-host, Ashley Kettle. Hi, Ashley. Hello. Um, you, we just had the uh, 4th of July, yes, so uh, you, you had a cookout. Mm -hmm. Hope everything went well. Uh, it did. Oh, good, good, good. Well, um, hope, your, hope your 4th of July was, uh, was exciting. Hope you get to spend some time with family and friends. But I'm going to talk to you right now about what's coming up this Sunday. This is July the 7th at St. Bethlehem United Methodist Church. The theme in our traditional worship service this week is doing good while doing well. Um, I took that phrase right out of our um, United Methodist uh, social uh, action uh, uh, plan, doing good while doing well. I'm calling this living among the people. The story comes out of uh, Luke chapter 10, and it's where Jesus sets up his followers. Now, some, some of you might not have thought of Jesus quite like this, but when you read this story, uh, <clears throat> Jesus tells his followers, you know, there's a lot of work to be done for the kingdom, but there's not a lot of workers. You guys start praying right now that God will send workers for the kingdom. And so they start praying. And Jesus says, well, I'm going to answer your prayer. You guys get out there and get to work now. <laughs> Be careful what you pray for. <laughs> it, it is a great story. Hey, we're also commissioning Nita this week. She is leaving um, uh next week for her mission trip to Guatemala. So we're going to be commissioning her for her work there. And uh, we're going to be singing the summons, which is a great hymn. And you'll have the history of the summons on the back of uh, um, uh, one of, let's see, it's on the back of the, the prayer list with the list. The prayer list of all the people that are going to Guatemala. Yes. And on the back of that is the, uh, yeah, the history of, of Guatemala. So it's, uh, uh, you'll, you'll want to uh, be here Sunday morning and experience that. Now, in our 11 o'clock service we're in the book of revelation and uh, we're going to repeat the uh, commissioning um, service there for uh, for nita but we're in revelation chapter 3 verse 7 this is the letter to the church of philadelphia now some of you know the word philadelphia because we have a city in america and we know that city as the city of brotherly love that's because the word philadelphia is a greek word and it means love of brother or sister so we're going to look at this particular church. One of, the, one of the interesting things of this church in the Revelation is that it might be the only city out of all of these cities that are listed, all of the churches that are listed, the letters in those first couple of chapters, uh, first three chapters of the Revelation, it, it, uh, it may be the only city or church listed that the description of the church does not come or the description of Jesus as Jesus relates to the church does not come from chapter one's description of Jesus. Every, every one of these letters has a description of Jesus that comes right out of the description of Jesus in chapter one, except for this one, unless, unless the key of David is the same meaning as the key of death and Hades. And I can't see that those are the same. Um, so it's interesting, we'll be looking at that this Sunday. All right, that's what's going on this weekend at St. Bethlehem. Now it's time for Ashley to share some um, interesting tidbits about herself with us. What do, we, what do we get this week, Ashley? Today I'm gonna to share a few of my guilty pleasures. Oh, nice. I don't watch a lot of TV. In fact, I never turn the TV on. If Andy's not there, I won't turn it on. I have had to call him and ask him how to turn the TV on. <laughs> But when I do turn it on, I like to watch reality shows. Okay. Like the Ozzy Osbourne reality <laughs> show, uh, The Hills, the little teeny bopper kind of thing. <laughs> My favorite one was Ice Loves Coco. It's uh, Ice T and his wife and stuff like that. I know, yeah. <laughs> I took it too Taking those silly Facebook quizzes. You know, who, what's your story? Oh, yeah, yeah, things, yeah, 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 yeah. Another one of my guilty pleasures. I can spend hours <laughs> watching hair tutorials on YouTube. <laughs> hair tutorials, all right. Yep. 
There you go. I like watching YouTube, but I don't yeah. can't say I've watched any here. How about you, James? Is that the one you're... Never. No, that's no, not the one you're no, into no. either? Okay. No, All right, well, it's, it's not our guilty pleasure. <laughs> I like to search the internet for memes. The funny memes. Memes, okay. And I send okay. them to select people who get to <laughs> my I, humor. I might have, I might have uh, gotten one or two of those. Yeah. But I never laughed. <laughs> okay, maybe I did. Yeah. <laughs> my, my favorite guilty pleasure is making silly Snapchat videos. <laughs> Not only making Snapchat videos, but sending them to Andy. Because <laughs> he'll get irritated. <laughs> But he can't help but laugh because they're so cute. <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> Is that what he calls them cute? He can't help but laugh. <laughs> He'll tell me to stop, but the whole time he's laughing about it. I'm sitting right next to him when I do it. So. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> so there you go. All right. I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, this concludes this week's episode of WSTB Clarksville. Say goodbye, Ashley. Bye, Ashley. Goodbye, Ashley. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> There's some pretty cool filters on yeah. there. And so you... <laughs> He's gotten on to me before for snapping my sister. <laughs> <laughs> but you stop. I'm trying to watch TV. <laughs> He's giggling the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, because some, some of those, they alter the voice and everything. That's the ones I do. That's the ones, yeah. <laughs> I like to sing him songs and the weird voice. <laughs>